just wanna make sure you hear me And I don't want you to get shot up Like the 11 month old baby And I'm not gonna say rest in peace I'm gonna say get well soon baby girl And may you recover with candy and sweet treats You didn't deserve to get shot in these mean streets And the streets are cold And it's the belly of the beast I'm in the emergency room Jacoby where the shots fired And across town the people died from a building fire And the two cops got hit up and now they expired And they want me to pay $12 for almond juice that's expired A deranged man pushed a lady on the train tracks I wish I was lying but I'm spitting raw facts I'm trying to get my client off drugs in his living room And outside all you hear is a 21 gun salute So I run down the stairs and two guys are arguing who's gonna kill who the shell casings on the ground service proof The old lady with the baby carriage and the dog in it She cursing me out Cause she thinks I'm trying to get her evicted And truth be told She's a paranoid schizophrenic Who performs fellatio for the latest Montclair jacket What's going on everybody? It's your host The Crypto Wonder from the Crypto Wonder Podcast. And I hope you're doing well. And let's get right into it. So, uh, crypto, you know, it's always about crypto. <laughs> it's about everything, but in this episode, it's going to be about crypto. You know, there's a lot going on. There's always something going on. You know what's crazy? You know, I follow I follow hip hop and I'm a part of hip hop, right? I'm hip hop. And uh one of my favorite artists, you know, he's um he on Instagram, Styles P on Instagram recently, not today, but you know, a few days ago. You know, he started making posts about how he's uh, educating himself on crypto, right? Like, really, really hard. And I think he's getting his uh, support from also his his children. I think his son is in, is in crypto. And so he's teaching his father about the markets and the different things you can do with crypto and stuff. But Styles mentioned something about Solana. And this is where sometimes I feel bad. And and it's not because, I mean, I just, he's mentioned something about Solana, about how he's also involved with Solana, or doing something with Solana, not involved as far as, you know, part of the blockchain or whatever, but, he, you know, he has his interests in dealing with Solana, among other things. But Solana has had so much trouble with its blockchain since it launched. You know, like, how many hacks has this thing had so far? Or interruptions in service where they had to actually turn the blockchain off, right? And so I could see there's just... In my in my in my mind, you know, Styles represents, you know, the noobs, and I don't say that to be insulting. I'm just saying that because I was once a noob. Everyone who's in crypto was once a noob. And how, if you're not careful, again, this is why doing your research and educating yourselves on what's going on is very important. When you dive in, you know, feet first. You're diving into all kinds of stuff. And a lot of it is not so good, especially dealing with crypto. You know, um, that's why, it, for the most part, I like to stress it's important to educate yourselves. Educate yourselves. Because a lot of them might sound nice, might have a good name, nice ticker symbol or whatever. But as far as financially, it's not serving you well. Especially if there's a, what, uh hundreds of million dollars hack that took place recently with Solana. That's that's just crazy. That's crazy. But that's what crypt that's what happens in crypto. So far in my experience with crypto, I'm I'm you know, I've been fortunate. 
I've had my my losses. Don't get me wrong, but I learned from the losses, and and since then it's just been a powerfully strong and great experience because it's helping just the yield that you know the cryptos are providing makes a huge difference you know and there's other things I could talk about outside the main ones that I've been talking about right but I don't want to because it's not for me because what happens is see I talk about hex and what's about to happen and soon to become uh, a thing pulse chain and pulse x because hex has proven itself and it's not hex is not does not work like everything else right there's only one hex and it only works the way it's designed to work and it's not for people who have like short term view even though you can enjoy quick price action and activity relatively quick whatever that may mean to you but it's really designed for you to monetize time through staking and not just for a week or two in a month but for years even you know 15 up to 15.2 years so it's long term it's a long term play the game theory involved with hex is just incredible it's a long term play though and there's other things in crypto that could help people really live off of the crypto but you have to also understand that there's risks I've seen people say that they have never they haven't bought crypto in a long time, right? I've heard people say that they actually are full-time crypto where they don't have regular jobs, they allow the crypto, they live off crypto. New people, you have to understand when you hear things like that from individuals in the space, trust and believe they've been in the market for years. Especially those that got to the point that they learned the best strategies that are good for them. They, they've been in the market for years, meaning if you've been in the market for at least three to four years to date, you have had to experience and gone through the, win the bear winter. Bear winter, meaning like this multi, uh, practically a three-year bear market in crypto where everything was low. And it was very difficult, especially if you were in crypto even before the last bear market. Extremely difficult. Experiencing negative 80 plus percent dips f for two, three years, two to three years. That's not easy. And still have to find a way to grind. If you believe in the space and you believed in what you believe in, you had to hold on and endure through that whole time and in retrospect that was actually a great time because well what I mean by great time is a great time for you to get what you like at a discount hex was created during the bear market and we've seen we've seen what is done in 623 days reach 10,000 X liquid if you stay for a very long period of time you made you burn much more than twenty thousand. I'm sorry, like upwards of twenty thousand X or so. It's crazy, but it was spawned and, and launched during the bear market, right? And so you have to figure out what works for you. You really have to figure out what works for you. Hex is not for everyone, in my opinion. Even though it's available for everyone, it's not for everyone. It's not. It's not. You know, a lot of people wish they could have been there in the beginning because they seen what happened. And, and that's a natural, natural uh, effect, you know, to wish to, if you, you know, you could have done things differently. Sure. I know what that feels like and I feel the same way, but I've been in crypto too, still at the same time. And I've amassed, you know, my own and it's been just a, a, a incredibly, uh, I would say like re rewarding to where you can, you can, you, you have options. Your time is freed a little bit better, you know, 
Your time is free for you to do things that you love to do. That you that you don't have to neglect as much. Like if you're running a business or you're working, you know, your time is like, you know, it's, it's tied up. Most of your time is tied up with work and running your business. When your business, when you're running a business, that's 24 seven. When do you really catch a break, right? But when you have something that's providing a steady stream through crypto, a steady stream of income, that's extremely beneficial, extremely beneficial and helpful, you know? Um, also, I see that there's a, a NASCAR, a NASCAR um, a car that the Hex community got together to help raise some funds so that a car, I guess, could be uh, represented in a, in a race. NASCAR, it's a big thing over here in the States. And that's, that's powerful. I don't know if it's actually NASCAR or if they have to go through a tournament to get to the NASCAR, but that that's a great marketing opportunity because you have a community that bands together to just make this thing happen. And this is not something you see all the time, folks. And I've been in crypto, I've seen different communities. This is, these, this is not something you see all the time where a community comes together, pull their resources and make things happen. You know, I've even seen live streams on a, on a smaller scale. Like with respect to the car, $625,000 was raised by the community. I guess to have the car, at, you know, there was a goal that needed to be reached. Why I don't particularly know, but the goal was met, 625K. Now the car is decked out, right, with all the hex uh, symbols and, 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 and everything. It's just, it's, it's a nice opportunity. It's just nice. Anyway, my point is, I've seen streamers as well from, uh, you know, raise funds for people who are going through, you know, hardship in the community. I don't see that happen in other communities like that. Like, at such a large scale. And that's just a, a testament to me about um, how powerful the community is, you know? Like, money was raised, I forget, uh, money was raised for a hardship I don't get me wrong um you know I'm not gonna identify the the specific problem that was that was uh happening but it, it's just a example to show and talk about how people you know the people put their best foot forward and that's not something that's popular in a lot of communities I don't see it I don't see it I, you know I, I haven't seen it happen with Bitcoin I haven't seen that happen with Ethereum I haven't seen that happen with any other nothing. Mind you, I don't watch the other thousands of blockchain activities that take place in other communities, but the the multitude that I do watch here and there, and you know, nah, it's, it's not like this. It's not like Hex. It's not like Pulse. It's not like Pulse Chain. Let me tell you something. You know, there's this thing of when, if... This is really uh, the talk now, like if and when Pulse Chain launches, if and when, as if it's not going to launch. You know, people, I, I, I don't understand the, um, the lack, like folks have this, this desire to see things fail. People have such a desire to see things fail. It's unreal. They rather see you, they rather see things not come to fruition to help the masses of people than to see it succeed. Folks want the worst out of you. And that's what makes them happy because they're just intrins I think just, just inherently um, bad people. To to really doubt at this point if Pulse Chain launches, if and when it's gonna if to just say if it's just like you slapping yourself in the face, especially if you if you already sacrificed. 
you shouldn't be talking about if unless you're you have another agenda or whatever because you're talking about a, a, a an opportunity that's about to happen that's unheard of in cryptocurrency and instead of celebrating that you want to kick dirt on it talk about an opportunity where people will, re will receive the most airdrops the most the largest largest airdrop ever done in crypto for free and and let me just say this too not only is it the largest airdrop ever done in crypto for free but it's it is potentially the largest amount of money that's ever given away to a mass amount of people for free in the world at one time through the actions of one individual who had the foresight to amass a team of people to create and produce something that's going to provide the largest airdrop in crypto history, the first, of, the first of its kind, the first of its kind. And it's now about, oh, if and when, salty, the bitterness that people have in their hearts it's disgusting. It's disgusting. That's why I tell you people, like, when, it, if you got into Hex and you, 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 you studying and learning about Pulse Chain and you listening to these live streams that Richard Hart does and stuff, and you see, you're just seeing for yourself what is what out here, like you learning, you watching, like, start with Hex, for example, and you see what's going on and what's happening. Does it make sense for this man to just like not pull it off? Does it make sense at this point for him to not pull this thing off? The, the, he already told you this is for glory. He was already set. Already set before crypto. Already. Like he doesn't, he's not doing this for money. He's doing this for something else. But people just tell me, you know, I have too much trust in Richard. It's not about, it's bigger than trust. It's not about trust. It's not about trust. And you know what? Let me, let me just be, let me just, I mean, honestly, if he does, if, if let's say Pulse Chain doesn't happen and Pulse X doesn't become a thing, then that will be the most genius level scam ever known to man like you know what i mean like that would be something akin to they would name him after ponzi he would have his own name now i firmly believe it's not going to happen or no, that's me call me a person who gives him too much trust call me whatever but i don't think he's going to scam a community for what for what Folks are so ignorant and unwilling to, to, to accept a good thing when they see it. Again, people do not know what they have until they lose it. They rather hold on to their fiat. They rather hold on to believe in cash. Because if it's not cash, everything else is trash. Well, in fact, cash is actually trash. And like I said before, I feel a way holding it. I feel a way when I hold cash. Because I know what the powers that be are doing to the economy that's weakening my purchasing power. Damn near by the day. Damn near by the day. And here we have a piece of technology that's affording us opportunities to get out of debt, acquire wealth, create generational wealth, take care of our health, and, 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 and help others that we care about, and we're going to frown on that. How? How can we frown on that? Like the light, the light, even out of darkness, comes the light. 
And even out of all of these murky financial and economic waters that we've had to swim through and navigate all through our lives, we see a glimmer of hope and a glimmer of light that's shining. And the opportunity is being provided through this specific technology. And some people just can't, simply can't believe it. it's too, it's too, uh, it's unrealistic for individuals to really believe, oh no, it can't be that simple. The man is fixing finance. He's fixing a problem that exists dealing with our monies. He's, a try, he's trying to directly address that. Not even trying, he has already. You cannot alter X. You cannot change, you cannot add anything to Hex. It's a completed, immutable piece of technology. There you go, there we go. But instead of saying thank you, and for him to respond back in kind, folks, show him their behinds. It's okay, it's okay, because there are more people there are more people that are becoming gainfully wealthy in abundance using that te technology than those who, who snicker at him, those who hate him, those who secretly vie for his downfall. More people, more people are going to see the light. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. It is just, it's what it is. People wish they were the ones that created this thing. But, hey... You weren't. So give credit to where it's due. But you're not going to get that. Because people have too much hate in their blood. For a man who's just trying to enrich the lives of so many people through his products. As simple as that. Enrich. Enrich the lives of many. You know, I live in a town where, you know, there's, there's a crisis going on. And it's not just about the health crisis and the problems that that, that, that fiasco has brought. The, the crazy amount of confusion. There's a gun problem happening here in New York. Where guns are illegal, outlawed. Like, you cannot own a gun or else you, you, you suffer severe penalties. Well, has those laws affected and changed anything when so many people are getting gunned down? It's ridiculous over here. It's ridiculous. You have people who are living in poverty who can't find a way out. Imagine if they know about Hex or when they know and find out about Hex. Where you could, you could just stick. You don't even have to, you know, some people don't even have the means in the inner city, in the, in the hood to even acquire a T-share. But they could, you know, still stake, even if it's less than a T-share, B-share, whatever, M-share, whatever. You could still stake and receive daily yield. And at some point, allow that to multiply for your loved ones. They don't even know about that. They don't even know. You know how many families are so hardworking? You have a family of 10 living in a, in a one-bedroom apartment where the adults just work incessantly all day. And the kids, you know, if they, you know, go to school or whatever, you have people who work just to pay bills, just to keep a roof over their head. Imagine when they combine that energy and they put it into Hex. And sacrifice for Pulse X. I mean, I know families like that. Different nationalities. It's beyond race, too. 10, 15 in a two bedroom apartment. Working 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Working menial jobs. Trying to save up to, 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 to you know, improve their quality of life here and to even possibly send money to their native homelands. Save money for the future. Imagine if they used a product like Hex and Pulse X, Pulse Ch Imagine. And that's why I create content, to touch the lives of other people, not just like people who just take things for granted. 
I'm talking about for the people who are serious, who even they don't make excuses. They do not make excuses. They live, they grind, they work hard. They work through their pains, they ignore their pains, and they sacrifice. They literally sacrifice on a day to day. What makes you think they couldn't sacrifice for something that could that 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 can change the world? That is actually creating something that's never been done in crypto before. Get themselves a copy of the of the hex token, ERC twenties. All of them are being copied. Get yourself a little bag of hex. And if you can't afford the fees as far as staking or whatever, you just hold on to the joint. You get a copy of that. And anything can happen, you know. Just anything can grow from something very small. Who knows? And I wish I could just say something like, you know, I try, I try. I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm always talking about hex, me personally, and trying to reach people. But folks are afraid. They're afraid of what they don't know. You know, YouTube is, is good. YouTube is cool, but not many people watch YouTube, believe it or not. I, I talk to people in my daily day to day, different, you know, in the community. I'm out, I'm, you know, in the communities and people don't watch YouTube like that to really educate themselves. They don't even understand what cryptocurrency really is. And I try to tell them, like, listen, there's an option here. Like, this is not this is this is not a joke. It's not a game. Take advantage, like educate yourselves. There's an option here. There's a chance. There's a choice you have to find another way to add to whatever you got going on that could potentially benefit you in the long run. You know how many risky things that are in crypto right now? Like so many risks. It's not for everybody. You know, different Ponzi joints, you know, different kinds of like ROI contract, all kinds of different. I don't talk about those things. Not because they, they don't work. It's because if you knew, if you're new and you're coming in, it's not, it's not for me because I know better from my experience to really talk about the, some of those things because I don't want you to just right off the bat have a crazy bad experience in crypto. First, you got to learn about it. Because if I talk about ROI contracts, for example, that's like, you know, you just go in and gamble. Like, it may or may not work. That's just how it is with crypto. A lot of things in crypto, you got to come in knowing once you put, once you click send and you put your money away, you may never get that joint back. Just have that in your mind. First thing, not financial advice, but that's just the real. You may not ever get it back. Kiss it goodbye. With a lot of these things that are out here. Because that's just how it's been. It's, it's, it's. And then with regulations that are coming down, like they're trying to really regulate crypto. Meanwhile, look, what, what, how, how have they been successful in the regulations? You know, there's always one way. You know, I don't want to make it like look crass, but like it's like, you know, crypto's here to stay. Crypto is here to stay. No matter what they try to tell you. No matter what, how many times, you know, they try to, different countries try to ban Bitcoin. How'd that work out? When you got countries that are actually adopting Bitcoin, like, you know, only you have some countries want to ban it and try to ban it and re and unban it and re ban it again and unban. Then you have other countries that just, you know, that's all they got <laughs> is they just working with Bitcoin because their fiat currency is worth, is worth trash. It's garbage. garbage but this is where we are this is what's going on this is what's going on people you have a lot of content creators that are just pushing the narrative pushing the push trying to push forward do the right thing in the hex community and and pulse chain keep it going keep it going the rest i don't even listen to anymore because i've listened to it and i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good I'm good. All the negative stuff, keep it away. Don't ingest, don't buy into the negative drama, the negative stuff. You know, don't, don't, it's not even worth it. It's not. This is just about you sticking to your plan, 
having having whatever you want to call it, strong hands or diamond hands or whatever is because it's more than about the diamond hands. It's about having and sticking and being dedicated to your plan for you because no one's going to be more mindful or pay attention to your plan better than you will. No one. No one. No one. Not me, not, not anybody. You will. You have to stick to your plan, create, be dedicated, be focused, disciplined, and follow through. And then you win. You win. I'm going to tell you one thing, though. Like, this is something I've noticed in Bitcoin, like with the Bitcoin. When Bitcoin, um, like a year after every halving, it's been pretty, pretty, pretty prosperous. You know, it's, it's, it seems like for the last three halvings, the year after the, the halving, there's like the, a nice, nice bull market trend. So the next halving now for Bitcoin is 2024. So that's two years from now. So imagine, imagine what your bags are going to look like in three years. Imagine what your bags are going to look like in three years, and especially if you hold in Hex, Pulse Chain, and Pulse X. Imagine what that joint's going to look like. You might say three years. Man, that's a long time. Three years. Can I do it? Da-da-da, yada yada. Three years is going to come and go. And you're going to remember this episode. You're going to remember if you're hearing it and you hear, listen to me and you rock it with me until now, until this point of, the, of, the, of this recording, you're going to remember this. Three years from now, if you hold on from now till then, mm-hmm, we're going to have a different conversation. And I already know it's going to be a great conversation. <laughs> well, listen, people, and that's if I'm going to be doing content by then, but we know who, you know. Who knows what the future holds? In any case, like the video, share, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when I drop videos. Okay, leave a comment, and I'll talk to you all later. Be well.